The time has come, friends. I am officially doing the leather god's work. I will be helping you guys rank and understand the entire kit catalog for Tandy Leather. They sell everything from leather, hides, tools, books, stains, glue, sewing machines. And one of their most iconic products is their kits. Tandy has over a hundred kits and templates and all kinds of things to help leather crafters. There's over a hundred kits here. I wanna first start off by saying I have done a lot of these. I haven't done all of them. Although these are gonna be ranked top to bottom, none of these are really quote unquote bad per se. All these kits are gonna help crafters along their journey, so I'm gonna rank these on the overall look when the product is finished, the usefulness to the kit, and for some reason, if any of them have any issues that I see, and my sheer opinion, whether I like them or not. So, Tandy Corporate, if you guys are watching, this is not a hate video, this is just ranking the kits you guys have available. So if you guys ever wanna do a collab in the future, please consider it. I buy pretty much 99% of everything at Tandy, unless there's certain pieces of hardware that they don't sell. The fact that there is literally over a hundred of these things, let's jump into this. Okay, first we have this Bison wallet kit. Really simple wallet kit, no frills. The only thing I don't really care for about it is it comes with this leather that you can't tool. So when you do it, it's gonna look exactly like this and you can't really customize it really. So for that, we're just gonna go middle of the road, B tier. Okay, next off we have the smartphone case. I really like the tooling that they have on, on it right here in their display image. But because smartphones kind of come in all different shapes and sizes, I'm not sure how the fitment is gonna work with all of them, so I'm going C tier. Next, we have this braided wristband. I always love this kind of knot. I've never done it before. I've seen this and my mind's still kind of blown. So for that, A tier. Next, we have this folding bull kit. This thing is super cool. Don't know why I've never given this a shot for nine bucks. This thing would be so fun to do. Super cool little project for that God tier. Super adorable, really cool. Next, we have this Tom Thumb purse kit. Looks really simple. My knee jerk reaction is to actually give this a pretty high rating because it's really cute and I love these cute little containers. But now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't have any pockets or anything on the inside. I'm assuming it's just like a little coin purse. We're going B tier. Okay, next we have this water bottle fob. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Tandy, I don't like this project at all. I don't see anybody making this or using this. Maybe it sold out because it didn't move or something. I'm sorry, but we're going with our first F tier. Next, we got this luggage tag kit. There's part of me that just, for some reason, I just never cared for this thing. In my like eight years I've been going into Tandy, I don't know why this project just never really got me excited. We're gonna go D tier. Next, we got this butterfly barrette. I think this is a cool project for somebody who doesn't uh, have a lot of experience. This is something that's really cool. That doesn't take a lot of creativity. You kind of just whip up this Tandy kit and you get this mind blowing thing. I'm putting it on A tier. Pretty cool. Okay, now we got this Surveyor Wallet Kit. I like it. I don't care for the fact that there's this sideways card pocket and then I don't know if this is supposed to be a coin pouch or whatever this smaller pocket is. I like the pouch here. Really solid. I just think this middle panel's a little clunky. So for that, we're only gonna be able to put it in the A tier. I would say S tier because this is a great pattern for like anybody, even if you're already like a full-time crafter. I think there's a lot of great elements. Okay, next we're going with this, this change purse right here here. Absolutely undisputed god tier. I love these little containers. I think they're so cute. I think that if anybody truly uses this thing for like a little coin purse, I think it's so unnecessary, which is why I actually like it so much. Nobody needs this, so if you're using it, you really got to commit to using this tiny micro coin purse. So for that, we're putting god tier. Okay, next we're doing this book cover kit. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of their new kits, so I'm not sure if, if this kit is kind of adjustable for size, but because from just what I can see here, the fact that it's only basically one size. Sorry, Tandy, we're going D tier. I love book covers, if you've seen my other tier list. Book covers are my favorite project to make, and that's the only reason I'm not going with the F tier. We need to be able to adjust that sizing. I don't know if there's special instructions inside to kind of account for that, but with the information that I have, that's where we're at with it. Okay, next we have this biker kit. Honestly, simply for the fact of their their imagery right here with the eagles. It makes me wanna ride a Harley and listen to Steppenwolf's Born to be Wild. So for that, we're putting Enlightened God tier. Real big brain energy on that one. Next, we're going with this glasses case. I used to make these way back when I first started. I loved making these. I really wish people ordered them, but because no one was interested in buying them, 
I'm gonna have to drop this down to B tier. I would actually put it God tier if it was up to me and it was a project that people actually like ordered and purchased. Now we're going to the small change coin purse. I think this is cute, but I just like it so much less than this God tier coin purse up here. I just don't, I don't know. I don't see a need for it. I feel like it carries less change. Okay, two pocket point coin purse. I don't know, I like this one better than that one, but you know, we're gonna just call it middle of the road. Next, we're gonna do this classic, what do they call it? The classic money clip wallet. Okay, this thing is badass. I really like this. I need to almost buy a kit and then like rip this pattern and tighten it up and do exactly how I wanna do it. This is a really good tool for these kinds of money clips. These are starting to come back in style. I've been getting a couple orders for these. Honestly, I might even, I might buy this currently. I don't typically buy pattern kits anymore, but I think it would be really good for reference. Great little pattern, God tier. Okay, next we have this bike tool, tool bag kit. This is tricky. From what I can see, it looks like the stitching holes are kind of large, which is difficult because I know Tandy wants to make it easy for their people who aren't fully experienced and kind of make the process easier. But just as a professional, this type of like loose fitment just kind of looks weird and it is a pet peeve of mine. So we're actually gonna put it in the middle of the road. I think I like the idea, but this particular kit itself, I think could have maybe had some tweaks and just polished it off a little bit nicer. Classic card wallet clutch kit. I really like the shape of this thing. I can't really say anything bad about it. I wish that they did maybe advertise with some kind of a tooling pack or pattern option for tooling rather than going completely plain because I don't think it comes with a tooling pack. We're gonna have to knock it for that a little bit. So we're gonna go B tier. This Olivia handbag, I like this. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I like it for 80 bucks. That seems a little steep because this is really a simple pattern. It's a front piece, a back piece, and a gusset. But I think if this was like $59.99, I would rank this thing a lot higher, but because it's 80 bucks, I do think the price is a little steep. We're going middle of the road C tier. Okay, now we're going to this Bison trifold wallet. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just not a big fan of their Bison line. Basically their regular trifold kit, but you can't tool it. Bison hide or like this Kodiak hide or whatever um, is really thick too, so this thing's gonna be kind of bulky. We're gonna go D tier on that one. Okay, snap card case, I like this. I don't know why the stitching doesn't come up the side. I don't like the unsymmetrical look of this thing. I do think whoever tooled their display could have maybe done it a little bit nicer. That could be a crazy uh, giant galaxy brain move Tandy did there. To have a beginner tool it, so when a beginner does tool it, it ends up looking a lot more similar than having this giant gap between the quality of tooling. I can't lie. Not a, not a big fan. Leather cup kit, I'm not gonna lie, I hate this all the way around. We just need to stop with the coffee culture. I, I'm an avid coffee person. I'm like, have a crippling addiction to caffeine, but all the coffee memorabilia needs to just mellow out. Okay, next we have these coasters. These are kind of polarizing because I don't know if I wanna give my like business guy answer, or my like craftsman answer. For these coasters, I really think that, um, I understand what they're doing. They're basically just these little circles. You know, they're really good like beginner little sample pieces that you can practice on. I think there's two types of people that use these. I think there's the very beginners who have no clue what they're doing at all. And the other group of people are uh, the people who are a little bit farther down their leather crafting journey that are just lazy and like basically make coasters and like really simple stuff. I think this is a, a stepping stone kit. I think if you use it, you know, when you're already up the ladder some on your leather crafting journey, you need to stop and learn how to cut circles. So we're gonna judge it based off of uh, this, this coaster project being the first project somebody does. We're putting it on God tier. Everybody and their mom has used these. Okay, next we have <clears throat> these practice pieces. This, I'm sorry, Tandy, I'm not even gonna think about this. This is an F tier. I think if anybody has used a Tandy kit before, we know that the, the leather that they give you in the kits isn't necessarily the greatest. I don't know. I understand it's well-intentioned, but this piece of leather is just too small and weird to use. I think that this doesn't need to exist. Okay, next we have this Indiana tool belt kit. This is new, I've never seen this in person. Um, I really like the idea and the sentiment behind this to kind of do a tool belt, but I'm not gonna lie, I just see there being a problem with things fitting well. It does look like you get thicker, thicker leather. This was the original Tandy leather kit leather. Um, it wouldn't be strong enough, but they do give you thicker leather. I'm also just not a tool belt fan. These would be better if they were rivets instead of Chicago screws. Maybe there's something I'm missing about this, but I'm, I'm, I'm really not a fan. We're going D tier on that one. 
Okay, now we're doing this Roper Snap Wallet. This thing is really pretty. Yeah, this thing is just beautiful little project right here. Okay, so it does look like it comes with like an internal pocket. Okay, beautiful project. We're putting God tier. Uh, you could know nothing about leather and make a absolutely gorgeous uh, little piece there. Okay, now Tandy has some gun holsters. Not a big fan of gun holsters in general for one. For two, I don't know the fitment. I see there being some kind of fitment issue. I think for like a person who knows nothing about leather, these projects are probably kind of good, but I, I'm kind of basing this judgment and stuff too off of being professional and you know running my own business and all the customers and possibilities of dealing with customers I might have. And I see there being a fitment issue with both of these. I do, I will say that I like this one here on the left better than the one on the right. So we're just gonna bang both of those out. We're going, we're going C tier and then we're going D tier. Okay, next we have this classic phone wallet kit. My mom rocks one of these freaking phone wallets. I don't really care for the fact that you have to go inside of a wallet to get your phone out. Let's go middle of the road on this one. Next we have the camera strap kit. I like this, this is cool. I'm not sure, I have something speaking to me about this kit. I'm going B tier. Okay, next this keepsake box. This one's really easy decision to, for me is this goes to the God tier where it belongs and this money clip wallet's going to the A tier. Now I'm seeing how stacked this God tier list is. This doesn't belong here. So this keepsake box is super cool. I love little containers as well. So enlightened God tier for you, keepsake box kit. Okay, next we're going with the Bison briefcase. I actually haven't seen one of these in person. I don't know if they're discontinued. I do think these things are really pretty. Now that I'm looking at it too, you also get this kind of hardware. So I, I was gonna knock it for uh, not being good value on the pricing, but now that I'm seeing it, we're going A tier. It's a really beautiful bag. You can make a really beautiful bag pretty simply um, with one of those kits. Okay, so next medicine bag kit. I'm sure you guys can guess where I'm putting this one. This straight to the God tier. Look at this little thing, is freaking adorable. Oh my God, with the little fringe. Galaxy Brain Project right there. Okay, next we got this Colton backpack kit. Um, I'm gonna have to click on this one. I've never seen this, I'm not gonna lie. It does appear that there are some interior pockets, which is cool. I'm gonna be honest though, 300 bucks for this kit is a little outlandish. If you told me this kit was 200 bucks, like that last bag that we just looked at, I would give this thing high high marks, but because I don't know, I don't I don't see it Tandy, I'm sorry. Plus the hardware is not that great. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, sorry Tandy, this is an F tier project. I see what you did there, but for the price is just, this, it could be up here. It could be up here if it was priced accordingly, but I, 300 bucks for that, I don't I don't see it. Okay, next we have this Revival handbag kit. This is a great project. These things are classic, they're timeless. Everybody who says like, oh, my freaking grandma had a bag like that. They're talking about these. These are so timeless. This is like, I swear to God, whenever this Visalia style tooling was invented, they invented this bag. Straight up for just respect and the history and culture of the leather crafting game. This thing's going A tier. I do make a bag that's very similar to this and it's one of my favorite things to make. We're going A tier. Okay, we got this Cheyenne wristlet kit. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I'm really not a fan of this big large stitching, this kind of stuff here that's going on in the side. Uh, I'm gonna go D tier. Not a big fan of that one. Okay, dog leash kit. I don't know what the heck is going on Tandy with this stock photo you have. Everything else looks like it belongs to Tandy, but then you have this dog leash kit. It looks like this This is trying to scam me. I'm just being honest. Like everything looks very professional and this one weird photo looks out of place. I don't know what kind of leather this is. This doesn't look like something that comes out of Tandy. I don't know. I don't wanna talk about it too much. I'm going F tier. We're going F tier. It looks like I'm being scammed. Tandy, please fix that. Okay, money clip, card case, cool little project, no frills, nothing to really get excited about C tier. Okay, now I got this leather valet tray set. Really cool little project. I actually have one of these for like my coins and stuff for myself. Surprisingly useful. Um, You see these and you go, I would never use one of those. And then when you have one, you're like, holy shit, I use this thing all the time. We're going A tier. Very useful. Passport wallet kit. I love the artwork that's on this one, but again, not really many frills. Kind of middle of the road. Nothing to get really too excited about. Actually, because the tooling on the front of it's so cool, we're gonna put it in the B tier. Renegade wallet kit. No frills, kind of just straightforward project. C tier. Vintage flask kit. Does this thing come with the actual flask? Holy shit, this thing comes with the flask. This is cool. You could buy a flask at Tandy. 
This is badass. This is some galaxy brain stuff. I'm not even a drinker, but that's pretty cool. We're going A tier. Classic bifold wallet kit. This thing, uh, I've used to base my wallets off of this kit, but this is like a, a must do for all leather crafters. Like if you're gonna buy a Tandy kit, the classic billfold is like a must. Okay, we have this magic billfold kit. This thing is crazy. It always blows my mind. Uh, I think it looks really cool, but I don't see it working very well. Like I know what kind of lace this is. I can't imagine this holds up for very long. The tooling on it is very beautiful, but it also is kind of witchcraft. So I don't know how it works. It scares me and it keeps me up at night. I see it in my nightmares with the, how that thing opens and closes. We're going F tier. Okay, we got this keychain kit. I am not a big fan of doing custom leather keychains. I don't know. I'm a keychain fan, but like having a, I don't know. I would I would rate it very low, but I know how many people like these things. So with that, I'm gonna have to give it a B tier because I know this is a fan favorite. And I put if I put this any lower than a B tier, people are going to leave the worst hate comments for me. So bow beret, um, same thing with the, uh, this butterfly beret, I think it's really cool. I, I think it's really adorable. Okay, different magnetic money clip. Um, this one gives you different options for the magnets. I like it. I'm gonna put this one up with the other magnetic money clip. I think they go toe to toe. I think I might like this one a microscopic bit better. I think solid A. Okay, treasure box kit. You know my stance on boxes and containers. I like it, but what I don't care for is this big lace stitching. I know that Tandy does it to aid with the beginners, but <clears throat> the finish on it just looks really weird. Not a big fan of the finish on that, but I do like the box. So it is going to cancel itself out and land itself on the C tier. Next, we have this zip card case. Honestly, this thing's kind of clunky and awkward. I don't like looking at this thing. And if I get a, just a knee jerk reaction of I don't like that, that's got to be worth something. We're going F tier on that. Sorry, you guys. Okay, we got this crossbody phone pouch. Cool. I don't see this anybody really needing this project. I see what you did here, Tandy. Maybe, maybe we could spruce this up. Maybe put two card slots or something or maybe make a little pouch on the back that's like the whole backside with a little flap. I like the attempt. I don't like the execution. For that, we're going D tier. I think this project could very easily be a god tier. I do like it, but I don't like the execution of how you guys did it. Sorry, Tandy. Okay, we got this cosmetic bag kit. Uh, this thing is super cute. Looks like just a single rectangular piece you sew around. This is a cool, really easy project for something that could be super useful. We're gonna go B tier. The Carol fringe bag. Okay, this thing, super sick, adorable. I love the color of the leather. It's gonna age really cool. We're going God tier. Emma handbag kit, $70 kit, not many photos. I'm not sure what's going on with this, if this is like discontinued or what. I don't know, don't know enough about it to go down or below. I could like it, could not like it. I don't know, Tandy, there's not enough photos. Okay, this Erica crossbody purse, oof. I really like this, this is pretty. It looks like they did maybe like some airbrushing or something. The fit and finish on this photo is a little rough, you guys. Again, this is one of those ones where I feel like I'm missing photos or something. I gave one of them a C, I gave one of them a D. Okay, vertical messenger bag kit. This thing is really pretty. I love the tooling, I really cute. This is kind of a style that's popular um, right now. I think 70 bucks is pretty fair for this one. 70 bucks so long as it comes with the pattern for the tooling. I think solid B tier, could be A tier, but you know, I think it is A tier, but I think comparing it, this needs to go to B tier. This needs to go to A tier. Okay, the Carly fringe bag. Look at this thing. This thing is adorable. This is the only time I like this big, thick stitching like this, this, I guess, quote unquote, buck stitch. This is the only time I like it, like this. I do love the crap out of this thing. Um, we're going A tier. Okay, now we're getting into some pretty middle of the road projects. No frills, um, I'm sure it's probably better than some of the older style patterns that you guys have, but I haven't grown to love it like I've grown to love the classic ones. Middle of the road project, fill in money clip. This again, kind of a middle of the road project, no frills. I do like that it comes with a special piece of hardware, so maybe that gets a couple points. We'll go B tier on that one. Oh God, sorry Yoshi, you gotta go. Okay, this Phoenix tote bag, um, cool, like it. 
it's pretty for 100 bucks too i think it's a pretty good value we'll go b tier a uh, really look pretty looking project and we got this Alyssa crossbody bag ah uh, this is one of those projects that i think could be really cool use with the chicago screws on the side kills it for me this would have been a really cool bag even if it was laced if it was anything but these chicago screws on the side but uh that was a swing and a miss this very well could have been way up here but the chicago screws absolutely killed it for me okay winston watch strap pretty cool um i see probably a lot of people using this i'm not a big fan of watch straps but i do like the idea of this project we'll go with a little bit of a redemption arc i'll give you guys b tier on that one okay max paxton messenger bag okay enough with the braxton kaden aiden Braden, braxton paxton just definitely better than that one Alyssa crossbody bag because of it not having the chicago screws <sighs> Paxton though. Paxton, Braxton, Mason, Caden, Brayden. It's it's all the kids that are gonna misbehave um, with millennial mothers and their crazy ass names. So just for that, it is better than the Alyssa crossbody bag. Uh, this is this one is kind of my least based opinion. Um, this one's just knee jerk reaction of, of basing it off of the name alone. The Calico clutch kit. Okay, this thing is really pretty. Like this thing is gorgeous. Like look at this bag. You have this designer handbag. This could be like uh, some high-end fashion designer who's super pretentious for 70 bucks and a couple hours, this could be yours. This would not do well if it was veg tan, but this glaze hide that they're offering here, this is beautiful, so we'll base it off of that. With that glaze hide, I'll give it, uh, I'll give it A tier. Okay, this Aspen clutch. Okay, really pretty. What do the insides look like? I like what the insides look like. I don't know what the deal, if you get three sizes or the three, the triple is uh, confusing me. The three, the three different sizes is confusing. I don't know what size you get. There's not options to get different sizes. I like this, but it is a little confusing. I think it's a really pretty bag. We're gonna give it B tier, higher than average. Oh, I see it. Now here's the Aspen wallet kit. Okay, so it's all three of them. So one is the clutch, one's the wallet, and then the other one is the card case. I like this. This is cool. I, for some reason, didn't add the middle size, but all three of them are gonna go here in my book. Okay, this heart crossbody bag. This thing is cool as crap. I might do one of these. This thing is adorable. Valentine's Day gift. Sheesh! God tier, that bag is really cool. I'm gonna make one of those. Peep the YouTube, I'm sure if I do one, I'll make a YouTube video about it. Okay, classic trifold wallet right here. This thing is timeless, I love it. I don't like trifolds, but out of sheer just respect for putting in the work, teaching leather crafters, all kinds of stuff, we're gonna go A tier. Oh, here's the Aspen wallet kit, so all three of these are going B tier. Now we're getting into the classics. Maverick wallet kit, you gotta just give it up to the kits that have been holding it down for Tandy since forever, we're going A tier. Money clipper kit, don't like this one as much. Um, let's go C tier. I feel like we haven't touched the C tier in a while. I think this kit has been around for a long time. I've never had one because I just, looking at it, I'm like, how does the, how does any gun fit in this well? And because of that, I'm just like, I see there being a fitment issue. I don't know, I'm going D tier on that one. Classic card wallet kit. This thing is classic, timeless. There's too many other good card wallet kits. I don't know, maybe we gotta hang this one up, Tandy. We're going D tier. Okay, this Dasher handbag kit. I think this thing's discontinued. I'm not gonna lie, don't really care for it. I think we're gonna go D tier on that one. Okay, another gun holster. You know, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm delusional. If any of the Tandy gun holster kits are legit, leave your comments down below, but I, I don't see them fitting great. And that's a problem because I do holsters and fitment is usually like the thing that people care about the most before how it looks. So, you know, a lot of the gun stuff is going down below as you guys can see in my book. These bracelets, this is kind of like one of those deals where it's like the coasters that I was talking about earlier. For like one of your very first projects, these things are great, but I see too many people who are like years in and they build like whole businesses making just stamped letter versions of these and I hate them. I don't wanna be any more negative than I have to in this video because I think all these kits have their place and should be tried um, if you think that they look interesting. But out of just sheer respect for this being like classic, one of everybody's like first leather projects, it's gotta go God tier. This is like transcends uh, leather kits. This is almost like a rite of passage along with these coasters. Got to make one of those if you want to be a leather crafter. Okay, checkbook cover kit. 
Um, I really like this thing, really cute. The only problem is that nobody has checks anymore. Uh, as much as I wanna put this high up on the list, nobody carries checks. We need to discontinue uh, the checkbook cover kit, Tandy. Okay, deluxe trifold, I like it. This is another timeless, timeless kit, but the trifolds end up being a little bulky, so we're gonna put it middle of the road, C tier. Okay, this drawstring coin pouch, this is cool. This reminds me of when people were like peasants and stuff and we carried like little satchels with pouches and stuff as if I was like, yeah, like some kind of peasant going through some kind of 1300s village. And there's like a person using one of those old school comedic pitchforks with the three prongs, like throwing it over his shoulder in like a, a buggy. I think you guys could guess where this is going. God tier. Okay, double card pocket. Oh God, this thing is kind of ugly. Again, I understand why we put these snaps to kind of make it easy for beginners, but man, this thing does not look appealing. Sorry, Tandy. Okay, let's go, baby moccasins. These things are so effing cute. God tier. Lancer Billfold, another really timeless classic uh, Tandy kit. Middle of the road, we're going C tier. ID wallet kit, god damn, sorry, Tandy, is this, did you take these photos with a Motorola Razor? What is this? Tandy, you gotta uh, tighten up on some of these photos on your website, guys, uh, because that photo hurt my eyes to look at because of the low resolution, I'm gonna have to drop it. Again, Tandy, what is the deal? See, look at how HD this is, great photo. And I look at this and my eyes are trying their hardest. Like, honestly, knife sheaths, you could read my, you could watch my last tier list video, what I have to say about knife sheaths. You're gonna have to have such a specific knife to fit this sheath. There's thousands and millions of knives that will fit it. I see there being fitment issues. So when people get this kit, they might be bummed that their knife sheath won't fit correctly. I'm going D tier. Luggage tag, this is cool. I like this better than the other luggage tag. So, okay, this is D tier. Okay, so this is C tier. The other luggage tag is here. I like this one better. Rover wallet kit. This is a good, this is a good pattern. Honestly, this is, this is a God tier project right here. God tier kit. Roper wallet kit is legit. Okay, rifle sling kit. Honestly, another good kit. God tier can't be heavier than A tier though. Is there anything I can drop from the God tier into the A tier? I gotta go A tier. Hi, A tier though, we'll put it we'll put it at the top of the A tier, how about that? Okay, I know you guys have heard me rant about coin deals, but this I'm not into, we're going D tier. Okay, this knife, folding knife pouch, um, I like it. It's funny because I like the pattern and look of this one much better than I like this one, but this one you're not gonna run into the fitment issues of this one, which that's such a huge mark against the original, this one over here. We're going to, okay, this one's higher than the other one, C tier. Premier wallet kit. Oh my God, Tandy, this shit hurts my eyes so bad. Even when it shrinks down to this size, it still hurts my eyes. Okay, Tandy, I'm gonna tell you guys, take some new photos or something. I know you've been running these photos since 1999, but you guys could do better. I love you guys, Tandy. I want to see you guys succeed, but as a customer coming to the website and seeing image quality like this is a nightmare. I mean, I can see it's a wallet, but like, man, it's hard to see. Um, strictly based off the low resolution, I'm sorry, Tandy. If if it wasn't for that, it would be middle of the road somewhere. Okay, walking stick. I mean, I, I see that they give you the extra lace to zip it tight. You're gonna have a giant gap depending on the size of your kit. Um, this is really cool in theory, but I think in practice, it's not gonna come out that cool and that nice. So come on, Tandy, finish strong, please, Tandy. We're try I'm trying to get you to finish strong. Top notch billfold kit. I haven't seen what this is. Okay, this looks like an old design. Who's Charlie? I'm gonna steal this credit card information. Ah, uh, middle of the road project, no frills. I feel like I'm being mean to Tandy right now. I feel like I'm, I've been hard on him. So like, what I'm gonna do, drop this to C tier. And then I'll give them, I'll give them something to the, I'll give them, I'll move something to the B. Okay, this, this knife sheath. I like giving that knife sheath to the B tier. All right, cool. Okay, bookmarks, but this is kind of cool. Screw it, we're going live. We'll give it to the B tier. I like it. To have a tooled bookmark is absurd. I can appreciate that. Okay, s gift tags, six pack. I think this is cool. I don't see this making any sense in the real world whatsoever or people ever using it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna banish this one to the shadow realm, you guys. Okay, now we got this tool case. Please, I like, I am a loyal customer. I, I got the Premier, whatever it's called, the preferred customer or gold customer, whatever I used to have. 
I used to be a gold member when you guys were still doing that. So for five years, you guys have been my supplier. And for the like five years before that, when I was working in a shop, you were the supplier of the shop. And without Tandy, I would not be a leather crafter. So please, this is not out of a place of hate. This resolution is a nightmare. My eyes hurt looks through all the kits, they're gonna have the same problem. Please fix the image resolution for your own good. As a person who cares about you guys, now we're going to the Gibson large wallet kit. Okay, so this is actually like the, it looks like the same exact wallet kit as the other one that I really liked. It just has the flaps or the snaps hidden and maybe it comes with a wristlet. Having two kits that are basically the same thing might be a little redundant, but they're just really pretty. I don't know who did this tooling. This looks like some Don Gonzalez disciple tooling. Like, uh, I know this isn't Don Gonzalez tooling, but it looks like somebody who just watched nothing but Don Gonzalez tooling. We'll go A tier. Um, let's go with the guitar strap. Guitar strap, timeless, timeless uh, pattern. I know even a lot of people to this day uh, use their, use the Tandy guitar strap, like as professionals, um, as their like their go-to guitar shape. For that, we're going solid A. I, I'd like it, but I don't think it's that good that it transcends into the God tier. So we're going solid A tier. Something really polarizing, these key fobs. This is gonna be the same concept as the bracelets and the coasters. This is a great project for the for, for somebody's very first time picking up uh, any kind of leather project. I think it's really good. Um, however, I think there's people who stick to doing keychains for way too damn long that basically will limit their capabilities in the future the quicker you can move past being like a keychain person the better and farther along your journey can be again this is like a rite of passage everybody needs to do these so we're gonna put the key fob the uh, bracelet and the coasters all right next to each other okay we got one last one what is this last one this is the phoenix clutch I really like these things. I used to make these things all the time. Honestly, really pretty. I don't think we can go God tier. I think we gotta go A tier. There we have it. There is the Tandy leather kit tier list. All these kits have their purpose and have their place. This is uh, my opinion of you know what I think about these. This is my ranking of every single Tandy kit that they sell in 2022. Let me know what you guys think. Again, Tandy, as a loyal customer who's been with you guys for almost 10 years now, any of the criticisms or things that I have to say is just based off of being in the leather game for so long and like working with some of these projects and all that kind of stuff. So none of this is meant to slander or diss Tandy in any way. I have no beefs with Tandy whatsoever. If anything, it's just as such a loyal customer, maybe we can like tweak and adjust some things here and there to make your guys' product better. But with that being said, let me know what your guys' favorite kits are. Did I get anything wrong? Did I place anything too high? What do you guys think? You guys are welcome. Let me just say that. This was quite a project to bite off. No pun intended. <laughs> Catch you next time.